Hello everyone, this is the Roblox staff, and in this video, I will show you how I lost one, I mean, 15,000 Robux on sponsored ad and got really bad results. Like, like I'm just showing you the results right now. So the first game I sponsored um, was actually this game, um, Content Deleted. I actually made a SpongeBob Super Fun Obby. So at first I did a test run, you know, 600 Robux for two days ranging any gender and only phone I got like 49 plays that's 12 robux per player played like it's garbage so I thought okay th that means you know, sm maybe small amount of robux when you sponsor the game it's not it's not good because the robux ad system is a bid bidding system whoever pays more to get more uh, visits so I increased it from 600 to 6,000 and plus 600, I did it on a Saturday and Sunday, which is probably the worst time to release a sponsor. Because at that time, there's tons of, tons of rich people sponsoring their games. And your sponsor will be overrun by their sponsor, and you'll get less players. Um, I've tested this, okay, I've tested this with this other one. So 6,000. And, um... Yeah, I spend one thousand dollar every. I mean, one thousand robux every day. Daily budget one thousand for six days, and I got like fifty four thousand impressions, one thousand clicks. That's about one in six, and then clicks per play, clicks um, per play, cost per play. Um, it's like twelve dollars. I mean, twelve uh, robux. It's it's really terrible. But what I found is like. Um, click per pay is usually around 10 robux per player play um yeah even if you spend 1000 robux a day now i watch a youtube video they tell me okay you just have to spend 1000 robux a day for about three days and your obby game should blow up my obby game got deleted content deleted today i got a strike oh my god like this just got content deleted today so like it's crazy so actually um yeah never do uh something that's copyrighted like a spongebob obby or something uh, because they will get content deleted a lot of the times be original and also um, Spongebob even though everyone knows it there's a search volume for it but it's not trendy right now so you're getting no like trend visits so if something's trendy they, a lot of people click on it we'll, we'll search this thing and then you'll get free um, impressions basically you get a lot of free impressions like I'll show you on the next um, next game I sponsored so let me show you the stats, okay? So this one. Oh yeah, so basically what I found is that Monday to Thursday is the good is the best time. Especially Wednesday and Thursday. Friday it goes down. Okay, Friday it goes down, and then Saturday it goes even worse, and then Sunday it's the same as Saturday. If you yeah, it just goes down, it cuts in half basically. Uh whatever whatever um like good impression you had before, it's cut in half. So for example, you spend 1,000 Robux on Wednesday, and then you got 100 players, or 100 plays, or 100 visits. If you go, if you do the same thing on Sunday or Saturday, it'll be, f um, it'll be 50 visits. So it's really, really bad. Uh, yeah. So that was this one, and there's the other one, which is the Grimace Shake Mega Fun Obby. Okay? And then I did multiple sponsors on it. At first, I did a 1,000 Robux sponsor. It's completed. Com completed. I did it for any gender, 13 to 16, phone. Because I knew most obby players are phone players. So I did that. Daily budget of 200. I'm just testing out the water. And it was kind of bad. And that was 9 Robux per player play. And also, these games basically made no revenue. The first game made about 500 Robux from one player. That one player bought two items and it was worth 500 robux so i spent what for this game for um the first spongebob game i spent like 7600 robux just to get 500 robux back okay FBI, open up! <laughs> so basically made negative amount of money. I made negative that seven thousand one hundred dollars. I mean one hundred um Robux. Seven hundred seven thousand one hundred Robux negative money. 
Like, that's how much I lost from, from this. And then for this one, I only made 20 Robux back from one player. And I spent a lot of Robux on this one. So first one is 1,000. I did it for 5 days. Up 200 per day. And I got about um, 1,000... I mean, 100 uh, visits. Okay, 100 visits from 1,000 Robux. That's about 1 in 10, basically. This other one is also about 1 in 10 since I've spent like 4,000 uh, 4 and 40. I got about 426 visits. Basically like 1 in 10 ratio. So 10 Robux is one player. 10 Robux is one player. The similar results with the first one as well. Like this one I also spent like more. I spent 4,000 compared to just 1,000. And the results are pretty much the same. Just 1 in 10. So raising the money actually um, cost more. Got less players. Since this is 9.45 Robux per player played, this is 9.35 Robux per player played. So it didn't really change. I spent more Robux and I'm getting less players per like Robux. Um, and then surprisingly, you know, I put 2,000 down. I did, what, 500 Robux daily. And I'm getting a better click per play, cost per play, than like my 4,000 one. Oh, this one I also added the uh, plus 17 and also that one's 13 to 16 because I had, um, I listen to YouTubers and they say, oh, lower kid range are good for hobby games because older kids don't play hobby. That's the, the thing is that in Roblox, the ages are fake, okay? Most people will fake their age in Roblox, in my opinion, like from, from what I see. Since when I started doing Roblox, you know, I wasn't old enough to get into Roblox. Um, and I had to fake my age. But right now I'm old enough and then I didn't need to fake my age to get in. But yeah, uh, even people are above 17, there are still like, a lot of them are still just young kids, like probably like 13, 14, but yeah. This one I added plus 17 and it instantly reduced my cost per click, which is good. And then the current one I'm running right now, which is just got started. Um, it's still doing, it's doing really bad. You know, at first, you know, what I thought was I can just brute force this thing. And then the algorithm will catch on, like, this game is good. And then they will push this game out. And also, the difference between the first game and the second game is that the, the second game, this one is trendy. It's, a uh, Grimace Shake. It's trendy right now, so a lot of people searched it. Um, actually, more people searched this thing than in the impression I got from the sponsored ads. So I've spent around... 5,000 plus 2, that's 7,000, 7,500, 7,500 Robux on this game. And it got less impressions than the trendy search that it got. So let me show you, okay. This the game. Oh yeah, that game is deleted, content deleted, like, bruh. So at the start, I had no advertisement, then I got 50 visits. The first day, okay, no advertisement. Second day, I started putting like 200, 200 Robux in advertisement. I got in like a little bit extra. And then I put more advertisement in it. Like I spent thousands of Robux, like 4,000 Robux or something like that to do it for four days. And after that, I didn't do it for three days. See, it went down, a lot of um, Robux went up. It goes down, and I put some Robux here, half the amount though. So it kind of went here, and then now I don't put any Robux in it. Um, and it just goes down. But these are all from, pretty much, from, um, just searches. Daily revenue, just one time 20. The, uh, session thing is s slow. If you go here, you can see where they're from. See, at first, it's 39 from searches. And 46 from searches, and I started pumping ads in it, and I got like 100, like 100 visits a day from uh, sponsored ads, and then plus another 34 from searching, and I did that, and then the um, searches died down basically. Um, yeah, but yeah, when the search when the searches at first they were super hot, like I can show you the impressions. Like, if you look at this, look, the searches impressions, like 7,000 impressions. 
like at first like this is crazy numbers like i'm spending thousands of robux on these ads and it's only getting me like close amounts um to the uh just trend search impressions like if you look the total impression that searches got me was 79,000 compared to my sponsored one um yeah and still right now the game is still pretty dead you know i didn't do any more sponsors and it's now dead nobody's playing the game so do not so um i guess just sponsors isn't really that worth it unless you have like a really good game because players will come in yeah that's for sure players will come and play but if a game is kind of garbage then like the average player time is like four or six minutes two minutes or something uh, it's not it's not the best yeah uh, but the trend definitely helps and yeah basically that's how i lost fifteen thousand robux oh my god like this is the worst investment ever also these are really important and thank you for your time. That's all.